All right, check it out, guys. It's Trevor James. I am super pumped. We just got into Samarkand, Uzbekistan, and I came here to eat the bread and the meat. It's going to be a full-on adventure. We're bringing you for so much delicious food, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Let's go check it out, guys. And here we are, guys. Just got in, found a beautiful tandoor station to make Samarkand naan. We're with the boss, Abdurrafor. And he's going to show us the whole process. I think this is the upside down, go upside down Samarkand naan, right? Yeah, here they come. The naan masters. Salam. Boss. Amazing. Here they come, guys, the naan masters. We're going to see how it's done. Full process today. Look at the muscles. Yeah, big muscle. Big muscle. Wow. <laughs> Look at this, he's just soaking this cloth. Look at that swirling action. Wow! And look at the Samarkand naan! Look at this dough guys, this is how it starts. Measuring out each piece, rolling them into balls, and then he's gonna make them into little hats. Look at that speed, look at the strength. These guys are strong, using hands, handmade. Wow, they get thrown over here. These guys are fast. Next up, giving it a design. Look at that flower pattern. And then oil. Wow, look at the beautiful color on there. And then here comes the nigella. That's gonna be floral. It's gonna have a floral aroma. Whoa. And then they get brought right out. Here we go, guys. The Samarkand naan is coated with nigella and sesame, and this tandoor is hot. We're gonna see how it's done. Look at that. It's so deep, and it's gonna be really good. I can't wait to try this. Okay, bread goes on. Here we go. This is the moment. Oh, that's deep. Wow. Look at that. Oh my goodness. He's going so deep in that tandoor. You can see that bottom ring there. Wow. And the bread just keeps coming. This is just insane to see, guys. We flew into Samarkand just for this bread. Samarkand bread, it's shaped like a hat. The tandoors are huge. This is like a jacuzzi-sized tandoor. It's actually looking very dangerous. This is very hot. You gotta be strong. You don't wanna slip. He is strong. You can tell he's a real, like, he's doing this every day. Next step is to coat the bread, soak it in water. I think that helps make it more golden brown. And there we go, guys. It's fully loaded now and it's time. It's been about five minutes. I think it's time to start taking the bread out. Golden brown. Look at that guys, pulling them right out now. Into the basket. And then look at this, full basket. And then it comes right out. Boom, hot bread. Look at this, it gets sent into these baskets and then those are gonna be sold to different stores and also roadside sellers as well. So when you're driving, you can just stop by and pick up a bread. Okay, let's try one out guys. Look at this, super hot, whoa. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's so hot, right out of the tandoor. Coated in sesame and nigella. That's what you gotta fly to Uzbekistan for. Let's try it out. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Mazali. 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 Wow. Look at that. Inside is gooey. It's fluffy like the Pillsbury Doughboy. Outside is crispy, nutty with sesame, and a little floral with those nigella. Thank you, Abdul Gaffar. Thank you for showing us this amazing. Samarkand bread. Mazali. 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 Thank you, Abdul Rafar. Ragmat. Awesome. Let's keep going. Yo, sure. No, no. Sure, sure. Oh. He doesn't want to take the money. Too friendly. Too friendly. Ragmat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Here we are guys, next up we're going for meat. Tandoori Ghosh, deep in the mountains. We're driving one hour outside of Samarkand into the mountains to try the famous Tandoori Ghosh. Salam, morning boss, how are you? Morning. Let's go get Tandoori Ghosh. Okay. Thank you. Okay, here we are guys, little hole in the wall. So we just pulled up on the side of the street, little family joined here and there's two Tandoors up here. We're gonna see this mountain recipe. Tandoori gosh. Okay, chef here is gonna show us the whole process. Oh, and here it comes. Here's the gosh. Wow, we're gonna get tandoori kebab today. Okay, guys, so we're gonna get tandoori gosh. Big goat cooked in a giant tandoor in the village in the mountains. Mazali. Yes. Yes. Mazali. 
Amazing. We just came in and said, let's order some meat. And he's going to put a half lamb in. Let's see. OK, so he's just slicing, scoring the ribs. That's going to be a nice chunk of gauche to go in the tandoor. Wow, look at that. Time for the marinade. He's just chopping those ribs. Oh, wow, look at that. OK, guys, and this is the marinade that just got brought in. It's full of paprika, salt, cumin, coriander, garlic, and that's going to be coated onto this tandoori ghost here. OK, here we go. He's just rubbing it on the meat. We got salt, paprika, cumin, coriander, garlic. Wow, all on that ghost. And oh, and a secret spice mix. Oh, wow. Wow, looks good. Mazale, look at that secret spice mix. Look at the color on that. You can see it's paprika, garlic. You can see cumin seeds in there. Oh, and he's just rubbing it into the meat. He's just gonna cover that meat in the marinade. Wow. Look at that. Super juicy. Oh, and it's full of garlic cloves. And here it is, guys. The tandoori gauche is gonna marinate 20 minutes. Wow. Ragmat, look at that, guys. Let's go see how it's done after the marinade. Look at this, we're gonna start the tandoor now. We got a mountain of wood. This is a whole forest right here. Here we go, time to load up the tandoor. We got all the dry wood. Okay guys, he's throwing juniper leaves in there and wood. Juniper is a special ingredient in Uzbekistan. It gives a really nice piney aroma. Okay, here it is, time to start the fire. And then look at this, he's actually mixing dirt and clay here. Time to cook the meat now. Mazali, it's gonna be good guys. Let's go. Oh, Uzbeki Gosht. Here we are. Wow. Okay, he's gonna hook the meat here, guys. Look at this. Wow, look at all the spices on there. Amazing. That's crazy. Wow. You can see the garlic cloves stuck into the meat. And you can see what's so amazing about this, guys. These are all like handmade tandoors. You can see it's made with clay and mud and straw and a bit of cement, too. It's really natural. And what's really special about this, guys, is it's using natural firewood and juniper leaves to cook the meat. So it's going to have a smoky, natural juiciness to it. Here we go, sealing the vent. So this is going to cause lack of oxygen and it's going to turn the coals into just warm embers and it's going to bake low and slow. Here we go. Look at that. Meat going into the tandoor. <laughs> that is insane. Full on. Uzbeki tandoori ghost. Oh, and here's the special. Look at this, guys. This is juniper leaves. Special Uzbek ingredient. Oh, wow. It's going to give it like a piney aroma, like a cedary aroma. He's just sprinkling it on all the ghost, on all the meat. Wow. Okay, next up is the most important, the dome, the meat dome. Look at this, he's wrapping a cloth around the meat dome, so it's gonna block all the air. Okay guys, so he's just sealing it with clay and mud here, and look, this is gonna bake for one hour, slow and slow. There's no oxygen flow here, so those embers are gonna die down, and it's just the heat is gonna bake it nice and slow. It's gonna be juicy and tender, and especially flavorful with those juniper leaves, those cedary aroma juniper leaves that he's loaded into this tandoor. Okay, here we go. It's been about 45 minutes now and we're just removing the clay. Here we go. Oh, there it is. Wow, the juicy meat. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, it's crispy and fatty. Tandoori gosht. It's just jiggly and fatty, look at that. Wow, there we go. And there's one more piece, the liver piece. Wow. Thank you. Let's go try it out. It's brought right to the meat house. Look at this. This is the moment we've been waiting for. Oh. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. That's going to be a full meat feast. Ragmat? Okay, okay. Okay, let's go try it out. And what's cool about this place in the mountains, they've got these little huts you can eat overlooking the view. You can just choose a hut and uh, eat, and we're gonna try this tandoor gosht. And it's just like a meat sanctuary here. You don't need anything else, just meat. And this is just crazy, guys. The menu is literally all meat. This is pretty much the only thing they got. They got this, or kebab, or a beef soup. Oh, look at that. And look at the bottom, it's got the fatty bits. Wow, look at the bottom, it's got the fatty bits. And the top is the meaty bits. Let's go in for the top. I think you can just go right in with hand. That's all you need. Let's try that out. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, -ho -ho. Mm. Oh my goodness, look at that. 
You can see the little juniper leaves in there. Almost tastes like cedary. Wow. And then it's coated in cumin. And it's got the secret spice mix on there as well. But one thing you also have to try is the fat. That's where the flavor is. Oh, the fork just pulled it right out. Mmm. Mm. Oh, seriously, that is Uzbekistan meat. We came to Samarkand for bread and meat. The journey is accomplished. The mission is accomplished. Oh, and you can taste cedary, that juniper. Tastes like a pine tree. That right there is the flavor. When you have salt and spices on fat, seriously, oh. You take that with some meat and then... Oh, wow, wow, wow. That is insane. So we're just gonna eat this and mission accomplished. Uzbekistan is successful. We got the bread, we got the meat, we were in Tashkent, we saw the big plov, we had street plov. What an amazing series, great to be back here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching guys and just gonna keep eating this. Thank you, amazing food here. Rahmat, see you next time. Thank you, awesome.